Hey, welcome to the hit show, Hoagie's Heroes. I'm your host, Anthony Tringale. This is my co-host, Zach Cavallo. Say hi, Zach. Thanks, Zach. So Zach and I have been on the road trying to find the best tacos in central New York. And in this episode, we're going to show you four places that we tried, let you know what we thought of the tacos, let you know the score that we gave them. And uh, these four places were Mad Taco out in Nelson. Then we went to Papagayo's out in Fayetteville. And then in another day, we got in the car and drove out to uh, Melo Velo in Syracuse and then Azteca in Camillus. Um, you know, all four were pretty good tacos, but there is one that in this episode you're going to find out had the best taco anywhere in Syracuse. Why don't you follow us as we jump in the car and go to Mad Taco out in Nelson, New York. All right, so Zach, where are we going, buddy? We're going to Mad Taco. We're going to Mad Tacos out in Nelson, New York. Nelson, my middle name. Is it really? Yeah. Zach Nelson Cavallo? Zach Nelson Cavallo. That's such a Look dumb middle up. name. It is pretty dumb. <laughs> Actually, it's not that dumb of a name, but Zach Nelson. That was my grandfather's name. He was a war hero. Dick. It's a good good, uh, good thing your first name is that fool. <laughs> Mad Tacos has got some good reviews. They're out here in the middle of nowhere. No, are they newer? Uh, they've been open for like, I think a little over a year. Nice. They took over the old Peaks Coffee. Oh. That's the building we're going to. They don't have Berea tonight. I did DM them. I'm pretty upset about that. All right, well, high five. Hoagie's Heroes. Keep your eyes on the road. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> nah. Ugh. Well, Zach, we're back in the car. We are. We are heading to Papagayo in Fayetteville. Heading back towards Syracuse. We just left Mad Taco in Nelson. And... Zach, what did you think? Well, what did we get, first of all? We got the, uh, they were the French dip tacos, which were like halfway to a burrito taco, I think. So we got yeah. our fix on that a little bit. Yeah, I feel like, uh, I don't know how long I've had the French dip taco on their menu, but it's kind of smart. It's kind of like a burrito taco. Yeah, I mean, it's not. Cool, yeah. yeah. So I had the beef. I don't know, like, what they braised. Like shredded or braised yeah. beef. Um, it had uh, melted cheese inside. It was definitely, you know, fried a little bit on the outside, similar to a burrito taco. On the inside, it had this, like, horse radish mayo of some sort. Now that I'm thinking of it, it was actually kind of like a quesadilla. Yeah, because it was really, yeah. really, really thin. It was flat. Yeah. Um, and then on the outside, they sprinkled, uh, even though it didn't stick to really the taco, but Kemmelwick uh, seasoning spices yes yeah like uh, everything maple seasoning yeah like. um it was 11 bucks for three tacos uh we got a side of chips and salsa yep. and definitely you know mad tacos had a cool vibe to it if i lived in the area in casanova or out here in hamilton or something i'd go there probably a lot because it's cool and yeah it's got a nice vibe there's nothing else out here to do um except for tips some cows Go do some cow tipping, right? It's a ni it is a nice drive from Syracuse. Though, it honestly. is, especially yeah. like you know it's kind of sunset right now. It looks real nice. Right, it's not too bad. Uh, it's about a forty minute drive. It's not unlike our flight to Utica. No, um, you know that, that was interesting. It'd be silly to take a plane here. Yeah, it would. It would just be dumb. Yeah. Um, and with that, I want to say hello, Diane, my mother-in-law, <laughs> who's probably watching this. All right, so Zach, what are some of the qualities that you look for in a taco? Um, a little bit of cr some sort of crunch. Okay. Um, some sort of salty, vinegary, something in there, you know what I mean? Okay. And then meat, obviously. You look for that in every taco? It's, it's a, I don't like a taco that doesn't have texture to it. I thought there was texture of that. I on mean, the outside. Yeah, right. Yeah, 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 but on the inside, there's no... Yeah. So you're looking for texture. You're looking for those things. I get that. I would not be looking for those things in every single taco. Well, I mean, that's that. I think that's what's going to wow me in this adventure that we're on. Yeah. Is, uh, but th that being said, it was light years better flavor-wise um, and tortilla-wise and really everything 
wise yeah. than the other ones that we had. So I give. Uh, yeah, what'd you give it? You gave it a score when we were there. I gave the taco a six point nine out of ten. Six point nine out of ten. That's a respectable score. I think so. Yeah. Um, I gave it a seven point one. Um, you know, right? Seven point one. Yep. Yeah. Um, that that was a good taco. Uh, it was. I like that crisp on the outside from putting it on the flat top. I did like, unlike a Berea, it wasn't like overly greasy. Um, I liked all the flavors in the inside. The melted cheese is always a winner. I mean, you know, you could put melted cheese on anything and it's gonna be delicious. I would just say good flavor on the taco. Yep. It's not a traditional taco, it's a French dip taco. Why do we order that taco? Because I asked the bartender slash server, what's the most popular taco? And she said that. And honestly, I was eyeing that pineapple mango too, pulled man. pork one. I was like, ooh, but I kind of want to get that. But to keep it all fair, we said, what's your favorite yeah. taco or your best selling? And she said that, and that's the one we got. Well, I don't know about you, but that was the most exciting thing that I've ever seen before. Uh, right, Zach? So now Zach and I are leaving Nelson, New York. We're heading to Fayetteville. We're going to check out Papa Gallo, see what their tacos are like, see if they're good, how they stack up against Mad Taco. I will say this. Papagayo makes a pretty good margarita. So, come with Zach and I as we go to Papagayo's in Fayetteville. All right, Zachary, we just left Papagayo. We did. What do you think? Nice atmosphere inside. Yeah. Uh, big, nice little bar. Um, the tacos were okay. We got the carne asada and the uh, pescado, the fish tacos. Yeah. Um, they were good. The carne asada is the best carne asada we've had so far, which yes. isn't saying much, obviously, but it's not. There is a. I tasted like a little bit of seasoning on yep. it, nothing crazy. It was obviously, you know, whatever. Um, it was chopped steak or you know sliced yep. steak. Yep. It had a healthy amount of diced tomatoes on top. A little bit of the. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce. It. Is it cotija? Cotija. Yes, it was either. Yeah, I think it was cotija. Cheese and uh, just a little bit, not enough to taste it. Yep. And then a slice, thin slice of an avocado on top. Yep. Um, not a bad taco. Yes. I would give the fish a 6.9. Yep. And I would give the carne asada a. I'd also give the carne asada a 6.9. I know I gave different scores in the restaurants, but I'm just re-remembering them, and they really weren't exceptional tacos. I think I'm reconsidering my score as well. I gave the carne asada a seven in the restaurant, but I give it a ten. I don't think I can give it a seven. Yeah. I think it's. I'm gonna do 6.9 for both as well. Uh, wow! Look at that. That's your favorite number, 69. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I just think store-bought tortillas in my book, especially when you are yes, a Mexican yeah. restaurant, is a big knock to me. I understand labor costs and all that kind of shit right now, and, you know, you can hardly find people. But, you know, 90% uh, of the people around here don't make their own tortillas. And It would have been better with a corn tortilla, too. We, we talked about that. Yeah, we did. Um, yeah, I agree, probably. Um, they definitely, I think it was just the size of the tortilla, but they weren't like underfilled, but it was just, there was a lot of room in that tortilla. Yep. All right, well, that is Papagayo in Fayetteville. Uh, you know, not bad tacos. Not great, but not bad. So now days have passed. Zach and I have gotten back in the Jeep and we are heading to Mellow Velo in downtown Syracuse to see how their tacos stack up against everybody else's. Mellow Velo is not a taco restaurant, it's not a Mexican restaurant, uh, but they do have really amazing food. They have a great bar, great atmosphere, and a bike shop. And they were recommended when we went on Instagram and asked all of our Instagram followers who they thought had the best tacos. Mellow Velo got a vote, so we went and checked them out. And uh, I think you'll be pretty surprised as we were just how good their tacos are. So let's go to Mellow Velo. Hey, Zach, guess what? We're back in the car. <laughs> we are. And we just left Mellow Velo. Yup. And I think that we just had the best taco we've had so far. As a matter of fact, I don't think I know. It was a it was a landslide best taco so far. Absolutely. Now I feel like an absolute fool, a dumb dumb fool, because just 15 minutes ago we were driving there. I said they're probably gonna have the best of the American tacos. Yeah. Oh yeah. Southwest sauce. Da -da 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 -da. I'm an idiot. And when it came out, I said, the street taco I just spoke of is yes. in front of us. 
It was, we got the carne asada. Um, it was three tacos. It was corn tortillas. Yep. Double wrapped for protection. It was. Jesus <laughs> age Christ. I gave, well, let's talk about, so it was three carne asada tacos. Double wrapped corn tortilla, healthy portion mm -hmm. of really great carne asada yeah. steak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marinated really well. It was shredded. It had some charred bits in there, right? <clears throat> then they had their uh, chili verde, really good, thick. It wasn't watery. Yep. Uh, then they had, we think, some sort of a Mexican cheese. I yeah, I think it was like I said, a, a queso fresco of some sort, and it seemed homemade to me. I've never seen any sort of packaged queso fresco that's not dried. Yeah. Because it was very, you know. Like the word moist, but moist. It was. It was moist. It was moist. Yeah. Um. I love moist cheese. Me too. I mean, there's just something about it. When the cheese is moist, that makes me very happy. You're right. When the cheese is moist, I <laughs> rejoice. Put it on a T-shirt. Come on, come on. Can we not <laughs> skip over the fact that I just pulled out the best? That was uh, beautiful. Uh, Reverend Al Sharpton yeah. on Hoagie's Heroes. When the cheese is moist, you must rejoice. Anyway, these tacos. They were banging. What what score did you give these tacos, Anthony? <laughs> well, let's let's give my let's <laughs> no. give my saying a score first. Okay. Because I give it a hundred out of ten. No, it's like you know, I liked it. I'm we not should, gonna say I didn't like it. It was a seven point two. We should put that on a, a, a t shirt. That could be our Bogey's Hero so shirt. So that if the cheese is moist, Kelly's, you must rejoice, right? Kelly's, so that Kelly's mom and your mother in law can wear it. <laughs> yeah, dude. All right, so Zach, what was the score that you gave those tacos? I gave those tacos an 8.4 out of 10. That Big is score. insane. Big swing. Yeah. Uh, I gave them an 8.2. Yeah. So not that crazy. They were, they definitely, I knew it was going to be good food. Yeah. I didn't think it was going to be the closest to a legitimate taco and a delicious taco that we would find so far. Yeah. I mean, like I said, I've, their menu is really eclectic. Yep. They have some really cool things on there. I've had a great eggplant sandwich there. Yeah. I've had a really good, like, tonkatsu pork sandwich there. Like, they yep. do cool stuff, so. Yeah. And Mellow Velo was quite a shocker, I have to say. That was a very, very good taco. Uh, I guess it's not too surprising because they do pretty much everything great over there when it comes to food. Um, yeah, but they make a pretty mean taco. All right, now we're back in the car, and we're heading to a local favorite as Pekka in Camillus. You know, again, all these places we sit down, we ask the servers, the owners, whoever we're talking to, what is your favorite taco or what is your best selling taco on the menu? And we get the recommendations and then we try the taco. And so that's what we're doing here as Pekka trying two different tacos, two of their favorites. And let's see how they stand up to Mellow Velo. All right, so Zach, we just left as Pekka <laughs> Mexican restaurant we grill good. here in Camillus. Yep. And we sat down. We had a little bouncy back there. We sat down. Callie just knocked herself out because the camera hit her in the head. We, uh, oh, I love it. we sat down. We asked the waitress to bring us two orders of her two most popular or famous or favorite tacos, one of each. And it was the Carnitas and the El Pastor. Yeah. What do you think? I liked the carnitas. The meat was uh, probably one of the higher quality meats from many of the traditional taco spots that we've gone to, uh, places that are known for their tacos. Yeah. Um, I liked the meat. It was good. It came with a little bit of chopped onion and some chopped cilantro and some sort of, I think it made a bit of habanero, like a light habanero sauce or something like that. It was orangey. I don't have any spice to it. Nah, or heat. But, um, no, I mean it was it was a decent enough taco. Yeah. I think uh, it was a lot better than the first few that we had. For sure, uh, it was more a street taco style with the corn tortillas again with those two. Uh, yeah. You know, asking you shall receive, I guess. Double corn tortillas. Yes. Um, tacos were pretty full. Yep. They weren't skimping on the meat. Yep. Um, little side souffle cup of chopped cilantro, yep. diced onion. Side souffle cup of salsa, two lime wedges, um, and then so we had the carnitas, which was just the carnitas, yep. and then we had the El Pastor, 
which was that that's chicken and it's ground chicken. Yeah, I think so. Ground chicken and, uh, and then pineapple. chunks of like the old pineapple in there. Uh, it had a chorizo-y flavor to it. Uh, yeah, a little kind bit. of a little bit like a like heavily seasoned chicken. It lacked a little bit the first time that we had it, and then we squeezed the lime on it. It was much better. Yeah, so I'd say the carnitas had great flavor because it's carnitas. Yep. Kind of like what we said last time, it's hard to really fuck up um, roasted pork. Yeah. Right? Uh, the El Pastor, I like that there was the pineapple in there, but because it was grilled, you kind of lost the brightness of it. Yeah. And they were both good. They weren't great. But then adding in the cilantro, the onion, that salsa, and especially squeezing that, uh, squirting that lime on it. Yep. Uh, definitely brought it up over the top. Uh, so what was the score that you gave me? I gave the Pastor a 7-3 after we squeezed the lime. Okay. I think it was a solid 7, maybe a 6.9 before. Okay. Um, and then I think I gave the Carnitas a 7-2. Okay. Yeah. I mean, uh, there's, so there's solid scores, solid tacos. Right. I gave both of them a 7-4 with the lime. Listen, Azteca is a fan favorite, local favorite here in Syracuse, and uh, they make an okay taco. It's a fun atmosphere. If you're on that side of town, you're looking for Mexican food, it's really your only shot. Uh, but I would recommend driving those extra 10 minutes into downtown, or 15 minutes maybe, uh, to go to Melo Valley, because it's way better. But our search for the best taco is not done. Leading up to Cinco de Mayo, we only have a little bit left before that glorious Wednesday arrives, and we will be celebrating with you all, eating the best tacos anywhere in Central New York, and we're going to let you know here in just a couple of days, so make sure you stay tuned for the next episode of Hoagie's Heroes, where we announce the winner of the best taco here in Central New York. Also, big shout out to our sponsors at Willow Rock Brewing, making some of our favorite beers, New North, I Am Grew It, 99 Problems, some great beers. Make sure you check them out at 115 Game Road in Syracuse or find them online at willowrockbrew.com. Thanks for watching this episode of Hoagie's Heroes. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Eat Local New York State or online at eatlocalnystate.com. Stay by, Zach.